The Lego Cuso project is a set that somebody has made for the video game Portal, which would be a perfect fit for Dimensions. And the lead character in Portal is a character named Shell, and she wears orange trousers and has a white top. Uh, we think this is Shell from Portal, and I think that's going to be huge news. Gaming fans worldwide are going to go gaga. Hey everyone, Wes here for Family Gamer TV with another look at LEGO Dimensions. Today we're going to focus on the characters we might find in the game. Uh, we already have quite a few confirmed and we have a pack shot which might reveal some of the other characters that we can expect to see in the game when it launches in September. The pack shot we've got with the character roster on it is there's a lot of interesting things in here. First of all, the whole roster of characters are split into different sections and it looks like they're grouped in waves. So if the characters we've just spoke about are wave one, they are the bulk of what we, we see in this first section on the pack shot. And then its subsequent sections appear to be possibly smaller subsequent waves. Now the great thing about this is we're gonna get a whole host of characters up front we're not going to have to wait for loads and loads of characters to come out later. The other interesting thing about the pack shot is it's the only pack shot that's taken from this angle that shows this kind of blurry character roster where we can't quite see everything. It's almost as if it's been planted by uh, Warner Brothers Marketing for people like us, big Lego fans, to find and speculate over um, and do their marketing for them well. Why wouldn't we? We love Lego. We really want to know what characters are in the game. You, you're not going to be able to stop us. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. So as you can see, we can get in quite close and morph this image a bit to get a better look and a better angle at some of these characters. Now, it's quite blocky. It's quite blurred. But I think you can see quite a lot just from this image. And I think if you look, focus on this wave one section, so this first section on the left hand side, on the bottom of that, you can see, I think, all of these fun packs that we've mentioned. First up, we've got the DC fun packs. So from left to right, Wonder Woman and then Cyborg. Now, next up, I think we've got a character that has yet to be revealed. And we'll come back to him in a minute. So that's the third character from the left. After him, I think we've got Emmett, and we've got Bad Cop, we've got Benny, and then we get onto Ninjago. Now let's focus for a moment on those Lego movie characters. Emmett, Bad Cop, and Benny. Now I think the character in the middle there is Bad Cop and not Wild Style. Some people have thought that's Wild Style because the hair looks like it might be a bit purple. But if you look at the fun pack shot of Bad Cop, he's holding his gun, which has that little red bit on the end. So I think that's pretty much confirmed that that is Bad Cop. Now, there's also Unikitty, and I think Unikitty's going to come in a wave later, and we'll look at that as we go along the line. But who's that mystery character sandwiched between the DC superheroes and Lego Movie? Well, I think that colour scheme looks an awful lot like Bart Simpson. And I think the character as well is ever so slightly shorter than a regular minifigure, which again suggests a younger character, possibly Bart. Now, if you're going to have Bart in the game, would that be the only Simpsons character? I think there's going to be more, and I think if you look closely, you can probably see a couple. And we'll look at those in a moment. But after the Lego Movie characters on this bottom row, uh, there's some Ninjago characters. So here we've got Jay, uh, we've got Naya, and we've got Zane. And I think it's in that order. So you've got the, the blue and orange is Jay, the kind of red and black in the middle there is Naya, and then the grey is Zane. Following them, I think we've got some Lord of the Rings characters. And I think the first of them is Gollum. Now, the only reason I think it's Gollum is because it's considerably smaller than all the other characters. And if we look at the pack shot, the fun pack shot for Gollum, he's hunched over, he's crouched down, he's in, so he's very compact, very small. Unfortunately, what we're seeing here on the start pack looks a lot brighter, it looks kind of white and yellow rather than the, the kind of beigey colour that Gollum has. But I think just from the size alone, if you look at all of the other possible minifigures that are on this pack, we know Gollum's got to be in there and there don't appear to be any other characters that are of his size. 
So then we follow him with Legolas and Gimli. So Legolas the elf, Gimli the dwarf, and then three other characters. Now the next one, I really, I'm struggling to work out who that might be. It's kind of greyish. I think it's either a Chima character or it's a character from another franchise, another universe. Because I think the last two characters on that bottom row are Chima characters. And I think they're Larval and Kragger. And I think if you look at minifigure shots of them that have been released in other sets, it's it's a perfect fit. They've got the same coloration, they've got the same weapons, you can see those big weapons on the right hand side of them. So I think it's pretty much a lock that we're going to get Chima characters in LEGO Dimensions. So Chima fans, you can rejoice. I am guaranteeing you Chima in LEGO Dimensions. Take my word for it. Okay, so that's the bottom row dealt with and that's a lot of the fun packs in there. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Now if we go back to the top row, in this wave one area, or at least what we think is wave one, there's some really interesting stuff. A few I'm not sure about, but some really, really cool stuff. So first up, on the left, Marty McFly. We know he's in it, we know he's in wave one. The red and blue, that's got to be him. But who's next to him? Blue trousers, white shirt, yellow head. Well, Andy thought it might be Fred from Scooby-Doo, but I think it's more likely Homer Simpson. We've got Bart, or at least we think we've got Bart. You've got to have Homer. The two most iconic characters from that animated series, it has to be Homer, surely. But that's not to say that we're not going to get Scooby-Doo characters, and we'll come to those in a moment. Now, the next character, next to who we think is Homer, this is a really fun and a really interesting one. The Lego Cuso project, if you've not heard about this, which is now Lego Ideas, this is where people submit their own customised Lego ideas that they want Lego to put into production. It's how the Ghostbusters set got made, it's how Back to the Future got made, it's how Doctor Who's going to be made, and Scooby-Doo, I think, stemmed from that. And there's a set that somebody has made for the video game Portal, which would be a perfect fit for Dimensions and its portals. And the lead character in Portal is a character named Shell, and she wears orange trousers and has a white top. Uh, we think this is Shell from Portal, and I think that's going to be huge news. Gaming fans worldwide, even ones that haven't played LEGO games, even ones that are, have no interest in Toys to Life, are going to go gaga if Shell is in this game, I think. Um, especially if she's armed with the Portal gun, this is going to it's going to be huge it's going to be marty mcfly huge um really really excited if this is true now the next two are interesting so i'm really not sure who the person fourth from the left is on this top row looks like it could be indiana jones but i doubt it because that's disney looks like it could possibly be a ghostbuster maybe if we look at the extended trailer for lego dimensions there's a PKE meter in there, which suggests that we're going to get Ghostbusters. Obviously, LEGO has a license for Ghostbusters. It would be a shame not to use them in the video game. But I'm not sure about the coloration. I don't quite think that the character here has the right color for a Ghostbusters jumpsuit. But perhaps it's Doctor Who. We know there's Doctor Who coming. We don't know yet exactly what form the Doctor Who sets are going to take for LEGO. But there's such a wide variety of doctors that perhaps one's going to come in here and it would be a good place to put them right bang in this first wave with such an exciting range of characters back to the future simpsons chima ninjago dc throwing in all of these different variations lord of the rings put them all in wave one show people everything right out of the gate or at least most things so my money there is possibly on Doctor Who, maybe a Ghostbuster, who knows. Now next up, I think this black looking character is the Wicked Witch. So Wizard of Oz, we don't appear to have any other Wizard of Oz characters in this first wave, so it would be uh, a good place to introduce one. But it's hard to tell, you can't really see a green face, so it's difficult to know if we're accurate on that. But the big thing is the next two characters. So we know later in the year we're getting Scooby-Doo Lego sets, I think these two characters are Scooby and Shaggy. Now Andy had to convince me a bit with the one on the end being Shaggy, but this image you can see here, it's got the definite brown hair, green top, brown trousers. 
Um, another image I'd seen, it, it didn't look anywhere near as green. It was kind of red and yellow, but here definitely brown, green, brown. That's Shaggy. And next to him, an orange character, slightly smaller than the rest. It's got to be Scooby-Doo. Has to be. So we think we're going to get Scooby in Wave 1 too. Now, Wave 2. We know, again, some of the characters that we're going to get. We've got what we think are the two Ninjago characters in the team pack. Uh, so they're on the top row. The last two characters in that second group on the top row, we think they are going to be uh, Kai and Cole. And, of course, they come with some other pieces as well, but those two characters are going to be in there. Now, who's the character before them? Again, it could be... Anyone from a number of franchises, it could be Doctor Who. We'd mentioned it could he could be in Wave 1, he could equally be here. But I think it might be the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. I would expect that as a minimum with Wizard of Oz characters, we're going to get the Wicked Witch, we're going to get Scarecrow, we're going to get the Cowardly Lion, and we're going to get Tin Man. And as I look along the, the whole line of characters here, I think looking at the image from the trailer for uh, The Wizard of Oz stuff, the coloration for the character looks about right. Looks like he's possibly wearing that hat as well. So I think that's a good fit for Scarecrow. On the bottom row, some more interesting stuff. Right bang in the middle there, you can see Unikitty. You know, the pink and the blue, quite obviously Unikitty. But to the left of Unikitty, look at those colours. We've got what appears to be yellow head. We've got some green trousers. We've got a pink shirt. There's maybe some kind of darkish turquoisey green around the head as well. Do you know any Simpsons characters that look like that? Because we think that's Krusty the Clown. Which would mean we've got Krusty, we've got Homer, and we've got Bart. All from Simpsons. And I think that's a good set. Those three make a good collection of Simpsons Simpson characters for LEGO Dimensions. I don't think we'll get any more. Maybe. Because there's a few characters here we really can't be sure of. Uh, then, to the right of Unikitty... I think that might be another Chima character. It's difficult to tell, but it could be Eris. Um, another one of the main Chima characters, so it would be surprising if we just got Larval and Kragger and no Eris. It would also be disappointing um, because we've got a female Chima character there that's not being included, uh, especially seeing as female characters seem to be being introduced uh, in a variety of ways with Wonder Woman, with um, Naya, with shell um so it would be great to have eris in there as well so that could be her but equally it's really difficult to tell as we move along this line it becomes slightly more difficult to tell with a number of the characters so that's wave one and wave two or what we think of wave one and wave two so if we move along to wave three on that top row i think there's a couple of characters that look pretty obvious on the far right of wave three we think we've got harley quinn and next to her in the middle, the Joker. I think the Jokers are pretty much a given. The green hair's there, the white face, the purple trousers, gotta be. And if you're gonna have someone to accompany him, Harley Quinn's the best choice, I think. And again, another female character to add to the roster. So, really interesting choices there. Now, who is that alongside them on the top? The colour scheme, very Ghostbusters. Very Ghostbusters. You've got a white face um, and we know at least three of the Ghostbusters have white faces you've got the kind of jumpsuit coloration so that could be a Ghostbuster but would they just introduce one I don't know it, it would seem strange to do that but they could also bring the rest in later down the line and if if you're gonna pick one who's it gonna be surely got to be Bill Murray or Dan Aykroyd's characters maybe but which one or maybe there will be more in here then we go on to the bottom row and we're looking at it you know, we're looking at characters now that are very very blurry um there aren't a lot of distinct colors there people have speculated that perhaps the white character in the middle is stay puffed i would be very surprised if we got a minifig size stay puffed i think all the other characters are kind of in proportion with how they would appear to go for something that would naturally be a big fig and, and bring them into this game as a minifigure. I'm not convinced by that. Um, but there are a couple of characters that have um, quite heavily white outfits. Uh, there was a character in the Lego movie called the Yeti. Um, 
and has a blue face with white. And here you've got what looks to be primarily a white body with maybe a blue face. So that could be Yeti. And there's another white character in Wave 4 as well. Uh, equally could be Yeti. Next to them, though, I think we're, we're torn. We're, we're really struggling with who those characters might be either side. Um, it's... It's really difficult to make them out. So I think probably best, maybe you could speculate. Maybe you could give us your ideas for who those characters might be. Uh, perhaps some more DC superheroes. Perhaps some more Ghostbusters. Or are there other characters from other franchises you think might be included here? Who might those two characters, either side of the white character at the bottom of Wave 3, be? And then, last but not least, Wave 4. And I think there's a few obvious ones here. On that top row... Um, I'm going to stick my neck out and say that the white character on the top row is Doc Brown from Back to the Future. I think it'd be a smart play to include Doc Brown, um, but I also think it'd be quite smart to put him in Wave 4 to generate extra interest towards the end of the cycle for LEGO Dimensions um, and then to you know complete your set with Marty McFly. Um, Back to the Future, I think, is going to be a big draw for the game. There's a lot of older players that love that film, um, and having those two characters united through all of these waves, I think, would be smart. Whether they do it or not, I don't know. But I'm going with Doc Brown on that. Next to him, you got the red and the blue. It's got to be Superman. You can't have Batman in this game and Wonder Woman in this game without Superman, I think. Um, so I'm going to go with Superman for that character. Now, next to him, I think we need another DC character in there. And there's one DC character with orange and green in that configuration, and that's Aquaman. So we've got Justice League films on the horizon. We know there's an Aquaman film coming. Um, so it would be good to introduce that character, I think. Um, so partner him up with Superman, with Batman, with Wonder Woman and Cyborg. And we've got a nice Justice League going on there. Now, we've spoken about the possibility of Scarecrow. Um, we've spoken about the Wicked Witch and we've yet to come across the other Wizard of Oz characters. I think here on that top row in Wave 4, right at the very end, the grey figure, who seems to be completely grey, is Tin Man. Gotta have Tin Man in there. Um, and possibly as well on the bottom row, the kind of orangey yellow character would be the Cowardly Lion. And that gives us our primary characters from Oz. Now, no sign here of Dorothy. And there isn't a character that jumps out at me that could possibly be Dorothy. But I do think we've got Cowardly Lion, Tin Man, and we've got Scarecrow in there. Now, who is that next to Cowardly Lion? I have no idea. I'm really, really struggling with this one. Um, and so if you've got ideas on that, please let us know who you think that might be. Um, it's a really, really tough one. The colours don't stand out to me. As someone I should immediately recognise, um, it might be a curveball character, just a single character from another franchise, it might be one from one of these existing franchises that we talked about, one of these existing universes, but one of the characters that I think is perhaps more obvious is the green character, right in the bottom corner there, it looks slightly fatter than other characters, perhaps this is Slimer from Ghostbusters. Very, very popular Ghostbusters character. Um, would be good to introduce him, I think. Would bring something unique to the game. But equally, with the amount of green on show there, it could be the Riddler. We've seen the Riddler in the trailer. So, is he playable? Or is he one of the villains? We don't yet know. Uh, he is head to toe green, but I think he's rather slimmer than this character. And so I'd lean towards Slimer, the character, on the end. But, perhaps we're wrong. Perhaps we've got all of these wrong. Please leave us a comment and let us know who you think each of these characters are and which ones you think we might have got wrong. I know there's probably been going to be a lot of debate over Wildstyle and whether that's Wildstyle or Bad Cop, but the thing that strikes me about this particular roster shot is that there is no, as far as I can tell, there is no Gandalf, there is no Batman, and there is no Wildstyle because they're already in the box and they're featured on the side of the box rather than the top. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're in here too. There are characters that could possibly be Gandalf, Wildstyle and Batman. We will find out when we get a higher resolution shot of the pack. 
but it's interesting to speculate and we want you to speculate too so please leave us a comment and give us your thoughts and of course hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our lego dimensions videos uh, we've got loads more to come we can't wait to bring you the first footage of the game so stay tuned for that mm -hmm.